In a previous video we used this data to look at how you'd use an if statement. But in this video we're going to have a look at how to create graphs and charts. Now there's quite a lot to the graphs and charts in Excel so I'm going to do one simple type and then you can experiment with the others. If you want to create a graph or chart you select the area that you want. So in my case I want to select all the data and the titles. I now want to insert a column graph. Now which type of graph you use is actually part of the mathematical theory. We don't want a line graph because there's no relationship between each student. A pie chart won't show us anything useful because they don't add up to a whole. And a horizontal bar chart, well, I could use that but why not use a vertical one? And as for area scatter and other charts, well, they're not really applicable to this sort of situation. So I'm going to choose a column graph and select the simplest 2D version. And it immediately produces the graph that we would all recognize if we'd been asked to do this at primary school. I'm just going to make this a bit bigger so that we can see exactly what's going on but you can see that the data has been formatted in such a way as to make it quite readable immediately. There's a title at the top of the graph. All graphs should have titles. There's a scale to show where the students came in the test. There's a label for each student so that we can see which student. And there's a legend to say what the columns actually contain. But this still isn't formatted quite correctly. Let's make some simple changes. What I'm going to do is right click on any one of the columns and there I'm going to add a data label. And we can now see the scores that each student has got. That's quite nice. Not necessary but quite nice. Should I want to get rid of them I right click on the data label itself click Format Data Labels and uncheck the Value button and the data labels disappear again. But I quite like those so I'm going to put them back. Now what every graph should have is a label for all axes. What we want is something that goes along the Y axis and the X axis to say what these things are. That's good design. So I'm going to click on the Layout tab and click on the Axis Titles. Now the Primary Horizontal Axis, I want to add a title below the axis. And I want that title to be Names of Students. I can now put a, an axis title on the y-axis. I'll have a rotated title I think. Trip, or triple click assuming I can manage it and then percentage in test. I now have a graph that's formatted correctly. It has a title, the axes are labelled and it has a legend. I've also added the data values to the columns just to make it easier. And that lets us see where things are. We can see that Earl Anderson is only just below the pass mark, whereas Billy Broadbean, well, maybe he got lucky, he's just above it, and so on. So when you create a graph, make sure that you include all the components the bits above, the bits below and the bits at the side.